I worked 40 hours a week and I was like, I don't have time for college. And I was like, well, you know what? What if I just join the military? And that's really something that I decided kind of on a whim. And then I just ended up pursuing it. Ended up being the greatest decision of my life. And when I joined the military, uh, once again, didn't have any family members that was in the military, didn't have any close friends that was in the military. And especially the Air Force, no, it was all new. You know, no, I, I knew nothing about the military. I knew nothing about the Air Force. I figured, you know, the only thing that I did before I went in was I just got in shape. I just, uh, you know, made sure that I could do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups and I could run really well. And that's all I did before I went into basic training. Ended up graduating, obviously, and had a whole career. And um, that's kind of where my story picked up. You know, I, talk, I talked about this in episode zero where I was like, oh, I just worked a bunch of dead-end jobs. And then I was like, decided I wanted something more, so I joined the military. So uh, if you want the rest of the of that story, definitely check out episode episode zero. And then I explain, you know, what I did in the Air Force and all that. So I'm going to end the story there. And I, I just want to sort of bring this back in and talk about how this applies to you. And how it applies to you is, like I said, you don't need to know anybody in the field. You don't need to have a support system. No one really was with me when I was on this journey. You know what I mean? Like it was just kind of on my own. You know what I mean? So if you don't have a support system, you don't really need one. You just got to just gotta work hard. And when I say you have to work hard, I mean, you have to work really, really hard. To put this in perspective, the way I broke in the field is, you know, I, I was in the field as a system administrator in Air Force, but I wanted to get a cybersecurity field, which is a, it's a little bit different, uh, a lot different, actually. And I was like, well, what do I got to do? So you know, I would get off work, I would do my eight hours at my job in the Air Force, and sometimes it was more than that even, uh, depending on the day, but I would I would spend four or five hours studying every single day, and I mean every single day, including the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Now, there was a couple weekends where I would take off, but for the most part, I was every day, and I, the, I figured the more I put in, the, the better result I would have when my contract was up and the better position I would be uh, once I got out of the military. And that, that was happened to be the case. I ended up landing my dream job as a full-time penetration tester and I am where I am now because I put in those hours studying. And, you know, I got 13 certifications. I'm working on 14 now. And it's a lot of work, guys. It really, really is a lot of work. This field isn't easy and it's not a nine to five. So if you are considering joining the field, or even if you're already in the field and you're trying to level up, like you have to put in time after work and you have to get better. You know what I mean? Like I, I do my full-time pen testing job and then I still manage to find time to study outside of work and try to get better. And I, you see my streams on Sundays and on Thursdays, my live streams where I do hack the box, that's a form of studying. And that's why I do that because I want to get better. And you, you, if you watch my live streams, you'll see me get stuck. I don't know everything about everything, you know, but the point is, is I don't quit and I don't give up and I try my best. And sometimes it's frustrating. You know, if you watch my live streams, you'll see me get frustrated because sometimes it is frustrating. But then when you figure it out, you're like, oh man, that's a little annoying, but I'm glad I got it, you know? So overall it's, it's super fun. So with that being said, you know, like I said, you got to you have to work hard and you have to stay consistent. Like the, the biggest thing here is you can't study inconsistently. You have to stay consistent. Discipline beats talent every single time. And then while you're working and you're doing all the studying, you have to have patience, more specifically, aggressive patience. So what does aggressive patience mean? So patience kind of means it's sitting around doing nothing. Aggressive patience means you're going to work your butt off for a long time with zero results, right? You gotta think, before I got into the position I'm in now, I studied to be an ethical hacker, penetration tester, four years prior to actually landing the position. So I, I stuck to something for four straight years without any result. I got zero dollars, I got nothing, you know what I mean? All I got was, you know, I, I kept adding certifications to my resume, but at the end of the day, like I didn't get it a job. It, I couldn't get it one anyways until after I got out of the Air Force. The moral of the story is I spent four years learning how to hack without any reward. 